My name is Jen and welcome to my show called New Housewife Does Cooking. Um, this is our first episode on YouTube, but we've been doing it, my husband and I, for about a year now on Snapchat. And today we're just going to do something really easy to start off and hope you guys like it. So today we're going to be making spaghetti with really easy sauce that you can make during the week. Like you don't have to crush tomatoes or, you know, grow the tomatoes. I don't know something crazy. So um, we're going to work with ragu and do a lot of pepper, like like doctoring with it. So what we have is ragu, garlic powder, onion powder, salt and pepper, oregano, Italian seasoning, and one pound of ground meat. We use ground turkey just because it's less greasy. Um, but you can use venison, um, beef, you can do pork, you can do ground chicken. Um, or if you just don't use meat at all, you can still have awesome flavors without any meat. Um, that's what we're doing here though. So I'm using ground turkey just for the leanness of it. So what we're going to do is we have our water boiling over here. Well, it's not boiling yet, but it will be. Um, I have it salt and oiled for our spaghetti. Oh, we also have sugar. Sugar. For the, um, the sauce. Um, which is a weird ingredient, but you'll see where it comes into play. So I have my pan here. And I'm going to start to ground our meat. So let's get this turkey in. And we're not going to season the turkey at all right now. We're going to just let it brown and do its thing. So if you're working with ground turkey or ground chicken, the bird will not dark. It will not darken like it, like how beef will or how pork will or how venison will. It'll stay light. So you just kind of have to eyeball it to see what it's done. But you just have to look for like little little hints of color like brown chars and stuff like that. So let me get that over here. Okay, so let's get our heat going on our meat. And we're going to put it around like five for right now. And then I'm also going to use our little chopper, which is over here. Just gonna mash it up a little bit, get those pieces going right away. It's already starting to cook. My mom makes this spaghetti sauce all the time, so this really is like home for us. So I don't know if, if you don't know us right now. Um, we live in Virginia, and um, I, we got married last year. I've been a wife for one year now. Um, and the reason we started the show is because as a new housewife, I didn't know much about, like, I was really worried about how to cook a lot of dinners because I thought that as soon as you got married, you had to take care of all the cooking in the house, which is super not true. Um, but it's fun to, like, you know, have your own place and, like, be married and, like, have that, like, exploration with your spouse on, like, new foods and new skills and new ways to like try new things, try new foods, try new drinks, stuff like that. So, you know, we've been doing a lot of really fun um, different recipes for a year now. Some of them are really good, some of them are really not good. <laughs> um, if people have had me on Snapchat before, they've known about my flops and they've known about my successes and I hope to be repeating a lot of them onto YouTube. Um, as we get started. So I just picked something really easy today just so that, you know, people would know what to do. So our meat is starting to brown now. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. Nick is my cameraman here. Um, he is also my co-host for a lot of the um, show. And he's also my guinea pig. And he has his own hat that says guinea pig. Take that. Nope. So this is getting really brown, not really brown, it's still raw, but we're going to make it, like chop it up some more and just let that sit. So I have my meat all nice and browned up now and it's all chopped really finely. So now I'm going to take ragu, it's normal ragu. And I'm pouring that whole thing in here. 
So this is going to be super hot when you do this. Not super hot. It'll be like on five, which is like on the higher side. Um, so when this happens, when you pour in the ragu or whatever sauce you're using, it's going to start spitting at you when it gets hot. So you want to be really careful and you want to turn your heat down right away. Okay, so we're going to turn it down to about a three and then that way it can start to like cook slowly and get all those beautiful juices together. And I'm also a housewife, so I'm not going to waste. So with the rest of, rest of our ragu, we're just going to take a little skosh of water, I would say that much, and swish it around in there. And we're going to shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake a shake See, you can see it already starting to spit. So that means that the sauce is a little too hot. So we're going to pour that extra sauce in there. Oh, I got burnt. <laughs> oh my gosh. I don't know what happened. Oh. <laughs> our pasta's ready. So let's pour in our pasta now. Pasta's easy. Wait for it to pour, you saw it in oil the water, and you throw those bad boys in. But we're not here for the pasta. We're here for the good stuff. The sauce. Cool. I'm going to slowly push those together. My assistant, my co-host, Nick, is going to mix that in for me. Just to push it gently in there. And just let that cook for a little bit. So this is spitting a lot. I can even hear it through the pan so I can hear it through the lid so when we open it we're going to open it away from ourselves like that okay as you can see it's mixing a lot and you see from here it's spitting a lot so you want to be really really careful so now we're going to start to season our sauce so I just have basic salt and pepper here and we're going to pour it into your hand first and we're looking for about I'd say half a teaspoon. We're gonna pour that salt in, and then pepper. I would say about a half a teaspoon as well, just until your ancestors tell you when your brain to stop. I am not Italian. The most Italian I am is if my fifth cousin high fived an Italian guy. That's about as Italian as I am. So. This is a super non-Italian way to make spaghetti. <laughs> well, a super non-Italian way, way to make spaghetti would be like if I put like bananas in it or something crazy. <laughs> but we're not doing that. So now we're moving on to our more Italian stuff. So I have Italian seasoning. How Italian is Italian seasoning? It's really Italian. It's like from Italian land, Italy. <laughs> It's from Italy. <laughs> My husband go. is looking at me like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> and we're also going to throw in oregano. And we're just going to do a couple shakes of oregano, which is also pretty Italian, I believe. I don't know how Italian. Just, you know, the answer is very. Very Italian. But the way they say it on Great British Baking is oregano, which makes it sound less Italian. I don't know. What's the, what's the right way to say oregano? Yes. Now I'm adding my onion powder, and I'm going to do just a couple, just a light dusting of onion powder. I would say about one tablespoon or one and a half tablespoons. Nick disagrees with me. How many tablespoons do you think it is? Uh, closer to three. Three tablespoons? Given how much you just put on there, is that dusting? It was a dusting. It wasn't that much. It was more from the eyes of the camera, which is actually what I'm looking for. It was okay. look more like three. Next is our unorthodox ingredient, and that is sugar. So for sugar, we're going to do like, I don't know, just a little palmful amount of sugar, just to make it sweet, because you want those sweet tomatoes. And you want to do it in like the crook of your hand, like so. That's even a lot. Let's do like a quarter. Yeah. All right, and all that extra we don't need. All right, mix it up. 
mixing that all together. And then the last thing we're going to add is garlic. So we got our extra fine garlic powder. I'm just going to do a couple shakes of that. So here's where you have to like really taste test it for every for your sauce. Because if your if your sauce is a little too acidic, you're going to add more sugar. And if your sauce is too sweet, you're going to add more um, not salt. You're going to add more garlic powder. And so you kind of just find the balance between the two until you find that really good savory with a hint of sweetness. Oh, it's spitting. We're good. <laughs> um, we're going to find that hint of savory sweetness in the center. So it's all mixed in. So let's taste it. It is really good, but I'm going to add a hint more sugar to it, just a little on the acidic side. And I'm just going to take a teeny, teeny, teeny little dusting. Everything's dusting, because if you say dusting, it doesn't make it as heavy. <laughs> so. All right, I'm going to give that a mix. Perfect. All right. So all we're waiting on now is pretty much our pasta, and that's not nearly done at all. It's pretty, really solid. So I'm gonna give it a couple minutes, and we have our sauce on a low. So I'm just gonna cover it up so it doesn't spit anywhere, and then we'll see how everything goes. Okay. So our pasta is done. So we're just gonna pour this into here. Shake it all out. Pour it back in there. Easy. And then Okay, our pasta is done. So now we're going to check on our sauce. Again, open away from yourself. And that looks really good. Get with this. Mmm. Super saucy. So yummy. All those beautiful chunks of meat and spices flowing through it. Yum. That we have all of our ingredients cooked for our delicious spaghetti dinner. I'm just going to start the plate. Oh, there's no fancy way to do it. I'm just doing it like this. Getting our sauce. Now I get lost in the sauce. I love sauce. So I'm going to heap it all on. <laughs> That's just my preference. Is this enough sauce for you? Do you want more sauce? Put a little bit more on. That's fine. All right. Little drippies. That's okay. We're not serving the queen. So, next, Texas toast. I'll get you a medium sized one. Cool. All right. So, come and try it. I'm Nick. I am guinea pig. Wait, is that what it says? Yeah, it says guinea pig. It says guinea pig, yep. Ah, no, pay attention. So, I get to try the slowly creation, which is spaghetti. Right. Mm. It is very good. Good sauce. Good spaghetti. We'll get to the Texas sauce later. I just came out. It's going to be too hot. So there you have it, folks. Thanks for watching our video today. Um, we are trying to put out videos every Sunday. Uh, that's what we've been doing on our Snapchat channel as well. So I want to kind of keep the same gist going as well. And if you guys have any um, ideas for what I can make for um, an episode, please let me know in the comments down below. And I hope to see you guys next week. Tune in next week for... Duck Lorange. See you next time.